the, are you on the ledge? Not on the ledge. You know where I am? I'm in I'm in the library where I'm just not thinking that this really matters. It matters. It matters for Andrew. It matters for the entertainment value. It matters for them maybe winning a game here or winning a game there. But in terms of the overall like push to a championship, it doesn't matter. I don't think that this team is cut out for that. I'm wow. here for every game. I'm taking it game by game. I'm excited for a possible play-in game or two. And I'm also excited for a first-round Western Conference playoff series if we get that. And if we get that, and if they're able to pull off the upset in advance, I'm here for all of it. I just, in terms of, like, expectations, the Niners' expectations, we talked about it. For me, it was not Super Bowl or bust. It was make the Super Bowl and whatever happens, happens. That's where I was. They made it. They lost it. It was disappointing. But I was not of a mindset of, we're going to clear cut. We're going to fire. We're going to flip the spread. You made it to the last game. You played against one of the greatest of all time. Mistakes were made. Eggs were broken. You lost the game. We can move on. That To me, the expectation was to get to where you got. For this Warrior team, my expectation is... Just make it into a playoff series. If they don't, again, to this point, I'm not going to be fire Kerr and Dunleavy's got to go and Lake mm. sell the team and you need to move back to Oakland and all the rest of it. It's all about expectations. So Andrew's coming back. Does it change my expectations? Not really. Andrew's, I mean, Andrew's a nice player. Andrew Wiggins is, Andrew Wiggins is the exact player that we thought he was for the majority of his time in his NBA career. He's a good player. Yeah. He's fine. He's not a Hall of Famer. He's not the kind of guy who's going to come in and drop 38 on you. I mean, he could. Has he ever? Once in a while. I don't know what his career high is. Right? I don't know. I'm looking at this year's game log, and he's got a 31. Here's Andrew Wiggins. Uh, this year, 0-9 to nine points, 15 times. 10-19 to 19 points, 28 times. 20-29 okay. to 29. Seven times. 30 plus. One time. One time. He is 10 to 19 points like like you read about. Great. Yeah, he's fine. He's fine. He's so, way more than fine. He's way more than fine. He's fine. He's not. He's better than that. He's not. Was he great? No. There's got to be words in between fine and great. Good Lord. He's good. He's good with I a mean, slight great, uptake. Great, great and fine are only in the same sentence when it's like, damn, she's fine. Right. Like, that, that's <laughs> that's different. That's the only time the word fine is like, <laughs> great. But there's got to be a lot of different English words in between fine and great. And this is what I, I always sort of go back to when it comes to Andrew Wiggins. Like you said in what you just mentioned, Andrew Wiggins is exactly the player he always was and we expected him to be. I don't agree with that. Even if he's the exact same player he was in Minnesota. He was asked to be something very different in Minnesota than he was here. I would argue that what he has been here has been much more good than bad. In Minnesota, he was asked to be the dog. He was asked to be Steph Curry. Number one overall, be the franchise player, lead us to the playoffs, and that's not Andrew. But he arrived at Golden State, and in, in my estimation, the reason it has worked is because he was much, much better at filling in the role that the Warriors had for him. And and so that's why I see it as better than fine. And, uh, and, and I can move past the whole draft status, and damn it, the way he moves. Oh, the way he moves gets everybody. Doesn't mean, you know me, that word expectations always gets me. Because it's like, well, we built those. That's our fault. If, if something doesn't meet your expectations, then sit down and adjust your expectations. You know, Guru was screaming yesterday because of his what? Expectations. Expectations. Yeah. And we came in here and went, why did you expect that? Why did you expect the Warriors to go win in Boston at the end of a trip down a couple players against a team that's like never lost a home game practically. Expectations can ruin a great movie, a great meal, and a player's career. Did Reggie Bush have a good career or not? Reggie Bush? Reggie Bush. 
It was fine. Exactly. <laughs> it was a great career, but it wasn't great when compared with Heisman Trophy and number two overall pick. So I just want everyone, like for me, that's the beauty of going to a new team. When Joey Bart gets traded, no longer is that fan base like number two overall. Dallas Cowboy fans are not like this Trey Lance guy. You better meet that. That's the beauty of coming to Golden State, Andrew. You don't have to live up to that anymore. You get to just be you. And I understand that Andrew being him is hard for a lot of us. Because he doesn't say a lot. He doesn't connect a lot. And in recent years, he leaves a lot. I get all those things. But I don't know, man. For me, way more often than not, I'm not saying by any stretch this has been some perfect performance or anything for the four or five years that he's been here. But way more often than not, I appreciate that dude on the court as opposed to not. Like, there are way more good moments than frustrated moments for me. I understand that's not true for everyone. Right. And that's totally okay. I just, that's that for me. And, and I think this year, each year is different in terms of what they ask him to be. And the reason I'm so excited that he's back, relieved that this is at least back inside his pocket for the moment or whatever. The reason is because I think the player we saw right before he left is exactly who he needs to be this year. And that is not a one or a two or a three. Oh, boy. Yeah, keep going. Not five, no, he not could be, six. He could be a four. Seven. That's what he is. And and quite frankly, from a scoring standpoint, he often is the two or the three. That, that maneuvers based on your lineup. And that's right. the Warriors this year. I, I, I've been frustrated by that as well. I think we've all agreed. I heard Shasky, by the way, great to hear his voice back on the air this week. Awesome. And one thing I heard him say yesterday is the number one thing when I look at Warrior basketball right now in terms of what they need is a defined two. And they don't have it because Kaminga's trying to grow into it. Clay's trying to hang on to it. And Andrew's like, I got no interest in it. So you got three players that all on a given night can be a two, but none of them are good at doing it every night. And and the Warriors don't know which one's going to be that guy, and sometimes it's none of them. And that's when they lose. That's why they're 32 and 28. But, like, Andrew Wiggins is this year, certain lineups, you're the two. Most often you're the three. I mean, in terms of scoring, Draymond is a part of this picture as well. Sometimes you're the four. Just be awesome with that. And and quite frankly, lately he has been. What was the number I came up? 14 of his last 26 from three? That's that's, right. that's incredible. The number you came up with. That, the, and the, I love his, it. But that's, it, that's no, his last six games. It's a fact, and I love stats because we can we can play with Andrew in his, Wiggins. In his last four minutes, right, he's been totally. incredible. And it, no, I, but he's been, he's been shooting the ball well. He sure. He has. And, uh, you know, we can go back to the two games before he missed due to injury where he had nine points and two points, and I can tell you he's averaging 13.5 over his last 11, and that's the stat that Steiny gave. Steiny chose to go back 11 games. That's fine. Which includes the nine and the two, two games where he didn't score very well. So we can all play with the numbers all we want. You said something interesting there, a number of things, but the one thing I want to highlight is, you know, there are more things that get you excited than get you frustrated in moments of Andrew Wiggins, I, and I'm paraphrasing. In, in his Warriors career. Right. Yes, I, I find it to be much more plus than minus. It's hilarious, and I, I was thinking about that because if you took a 1,000 moments of Andrew Wiggins, to me, 916 of them are net neutral. They're just moments where really? he's, just, he's just there. Mm. And of the 84 remaining moments, yeah, it's probably... 46 good and 38 frustrating. So, yes, the net positive is there for Andrew, but by and large, my experience with Andrew Wiggins is he's just kind of been there. And when he was more than a guy who was just there, he was incredible, and you won a championship. And that's where, when we talk about expectations, this is where I personally, my feelings, my expectations, you've got a player who's 29 years old. He still is in the peak of his career. He's only 29. 
This is not a 38-year-old Chris Paul where, okay, Chris, you know, do your best. You're old. Whatever you are, you're limited. We know you can only give us a certain amount. Oh. This is a 29-year-old guy who has the potential to be something. We've seen it only 18 or 20 months ago. We've seen what you can be, For two and yet you're fine. But you can be that guy, and yet... How do you know that? You're you're not that guy. How do you know that? Because he showed us. He showed it for two months. Jeremy Lin showed you for two months. Just, don't you, make the Jeremy no, Lin conversation. The, the comp is wildly no, this is, this disrespectful is, to no, Andrew but Wiggins. This is a fair question about expectations of athletes. They go on a heater for a month or two. Like, how long before it's the fan that's in the wrong for expecting a player to be someone that they've shown you for years on end that they're not. Well, I'm not in the wrong as a fan. Well, I don't I don't have to be in the wrong. I saw it. And the team paid yeah, you hundreds for, of millions of dollars to be that guy. For a short period of time. Right. For a short period of time. I don't Here's know an that idea. Andrew, I don't know that Andrew can be that. Well, he could exert the effort to try to prove that he's that guy, but I mean it's it's not that you don't, what I see is that he doesn't it, he doesn't try to be that guy. It's not that you don't have a point. I get that. But what I've loved about Andrew Wiggins and maybe this is kind of what I'm getting at. You can like Andrew Wiggins, you just got to change the way you look at him. And maybe you don't want to do that. And that's fine. But I like Andrew Wiggins is a product of your own individual expectations, each and every one of us.